Welcome to this CSS lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to embed custom fonts into our web pages. This is important because some of the fonts that you may be using may not have been installed in the user's machine. In that case, the user is going to view your website using a default font, which you don't want to happen. You don't want that to happen, okay? So I've created this HTML document. I've named it example font.html and in the same folder where I saved the HTML document, I'll put three fonts files that we are going to embed, okay? So that's all we need. So let's go back to our text editor. We are going to use CSS as you know so in order for you to embed a font a unique font you need to use the add font space rule and the first thing you do is to name your font you name your font using the font family and i'm going to name my font the first font x and s Okay, put a semicolon. The second thing you need to specify the source of the font. Okay, and you're going to use the SRC and use the URL function to specify the location, the URL of the font. Okay, so it's named xms.ttf. Okay. So, we haven't styled these three elements so far. So, if you preview this in a browser, you see they have a custom font. Uh, they have the default font, which is Times New Roman. So, we go back to our CSS. And now we are going to style the element with the ID of font 1. We are going to style it by specifying the font family to be XMS. Now, remember this XMS is the font that we named here. This is the name we are using there. This specified the URL of the font. So let's go back to the browser and preview it. You see? That is, a, that is a font that we have just embedded okay so let's embed another font we are going to use this same syntax we copy that and we paste it now this time let's go back to our folders we are going to use this one let's copy that name that will be the URL and I'm just going to name it A okay so then we style it the element with the ID of font 2 we want the font family to be A and remember A is the name that we named it here okay so let's go back to the browser again and refresh you see load the custom font again and if you wanted to load another font we are going to copy this again paste it exactly the same and now let's check the name its name is this is this is name we copy that name go back to our text editor Place it there, and I'm just going to name it NU. And now, the element that has an ID of font 3, we want its 
own family to be and you okay go back to the browser you see it has loaded the other phone so that's how you load a font this is how you look you style the elements that are in that that are in the web page okay so that's it and see you next time